Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. For those of you who are new or just lurking, my name's Peter. I am a recently qualified makeup artist on paper. <laughs> um, and I started this channel because I wanted to build skills that I wanted to do something during lockdown to give me something to do. And it's kind of continued on. Um, this week I have decided to let my flatmates, this week and next week I've decided to let my flatmates choose my eyes. Um, this is going to go one way or the complete other. And I know the colours that they've already chosen. So we're going to see how it turns out. <laughs> if you want to see what Jake chose on the first... For the first week's video, feel free to keep watching and let's see how this turns out. And we're back. Excuse the hair. It's not wanting to play nicely today. Um, okay, so I have already gone through, done my base, um, and primed the eyelids and about to, <laughs> about to go in with the first the first color. So Jake chose all from the um, Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Conspiracy palette um, and the shades he went in with are uh, Flaming Hot Food Videos and What's the Tea. That's it. Those three. <laughs> Um, I have an idea as to what I'm going to do, whether it works out or turns out the way that I think it will. It's yet to be decided. So first things first, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Flaming Hot, just on a flat brush, um, and just start to lay that in the crease. just on the outer part of the lid. Now, the reason why I'm going in with a flat brush, flat brush first, is because this one, it, it's pretty pigmented, and I don't know how much I want to put on. So I figure put down a little bit first and then go in and blend. And then add bit by bit. Um, now what I'm probably going to do as well is I'm going to do one eye on camera and then do the other eye off camera. Just to try and speed things up because the last couple of videos I've done were... 30 odd minutes, it's a little bit too long. You don't need to hear 30 minutes of me rambling random nonsense. Now, initially last night when Chrissy and Jake were choosing the colours. I said I was going to go in with a just a base transition shade, which in the end I decided not to. Um, I decided just to stick with the three shades that they've each chosen. Three shades only. <laughs> um, and hope for the best. <laughs> All right, so that one, and I'm just going to take another blender and just go into that top edge, nothing on it, just to help diffuse. I 
I do a lot of smoky eyes on this, on this channel. I can't help it, I like a smoky eye. Okay. Now I am gonna come in with a little bit more. Just on that outer corner. Now, I just want to take food videos, really bright yellow, like iridescent yellow. That comes up somewhat muted on the skin. But had I have also gone in with a cut crease, probably would have been better. Um, so just starting to pack that on the inner part of my eyelid. Okay. And Color theory, what does yellow and red make? Orange. <laughs> um, or at least I hope it's going to do that this time. So I'm just going to take just a small um, pencil blender and just a touch of both Flaming Hot and Food Videos on the aid of that. And just go into the crease. Interesting color combination. Just going back in with Blender again. So how's everyone been doing? Keeping well, I hope. Melbourne's finally starting to warm up. We've got a nice 25 odd degree day today. So after this, I plan to open up the house and air out the house. Sorry, I need more coffee. All right. Now I am going to take a little bit more of the food videos. And just pack that on top of the lid. So I feel like it blends and mutes out very, very quickly. All right. Now. I'm going to take a little bit of Flaming Hot, just run it under the outer corner of the eye, right, and now I'm going to go in with What's the T? Just under the eye. Oh, I feel like this is a very 60s sort of look.
Has anyone started watching um, Ratchet yet on Facebook? Oh, Facebook, Netflix. Started watching it last night, got two episodes in and stopped because I wanted to go to bed. Otherwise, I would have sat up all night. Such a good series so far. The way they have styled and dressed Sarah Paulson is, oof, eyeball, is honestly beautiful. She just looks so elegant and classic and more adjectives. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to take a little bit or whatever's left on that brush from using in the crease and put a little bit more flaming hot to help blend those two together. Well, it's working. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's my favorite look, but it's working. I think, at least. Leave a comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are. I can't help but think of... Looking at, looking at this, I can't help but think of the 60s and Twiggy for some reason. It's just... I don't know, it just seems very 60s. I've said that already, I know. Alright. And just... Again, taking that... Clean... Buffing brush or shading brush that I used um, up top to help blend out that lower lash line as well. Eh. Too many brushes in my fingers. Okay, now what I do want to do is take a little bit of setting spray, just the Morphe Continuous Mist setting spray, and just dampen an angle brush. Got powder over my chest. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love the smell of the continuous setting spray. And I'm just going to take the angle brush with a little bit of food videos on it. And just really bring it into that inner corner. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, all right, so I'm going to pause here. I'm going to go and finish the other eye and I will be back shortly. And I'm back. So I've gone off, I've done the other eye as you can see. Um, I actually think it's kind of cute. I don't hate it. Um, it's very bright. It's not something that I would normally do um, in the slightest, but I'm not 
hating it, although I do hate the fact that that bit was not blended properly. Now, I've also just done my eyebrows off camera, um, like I normally do. I figured today, it's, it, it, it's quite a bold eye look, so um, I'm going to go quite strong and quite bold with everything. Hopefully it balances out. Now, Jake did choose as well a blush and a bronzer, just the e.l.f. Cosmetics Instant Lucia. Um, this blush is, I, I like this blush, it's really pretty on its own. Um, but I feel like it's probably going to be a little bit pale. Um, so let's just go in and bronze quickly. Which I mean... It's a warm sunny day today, it's quite a warm bright look, so... Bronzer is kind of essential, I guess. Now, the one thing he didn't choose was any form of contour hair in my face again. Um, and I think with that today I want to go a little bit a um, little bit stronger than what I normally would. Well, <laughs> I will veil that shortly. A little better. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with the blush shade from that little pack. Now, I probably would have done a uh, flatmate chooses my full face, but I have a lot of eyeshadows, I don't have a lot of foundations. It's kind of free to choose from at the moment. And one of them is not my shade at all. It's more my summer shade. Okay. And just my usual on the tip of the nose. All right, back in a sec. All right, so off camera, I was about to say offline again. <laughs> off camera, I went in with my um, contour, which I just used the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. Um, I figured I wanted something a little bit bolder today. Um, considering this eye look, I figured it probably needed to be a little bit stronger, a little bit more defined than what I would normally do. Um, I then also went in with highlighter and I went in with a mix of two of Jeffree Star's highlighters. I went in with Summer Snow Cone and Peach Goddess. Really pretty. Um, I, my skin tone can't get away with doing just a straight out gold, so it needs to be mixed with something. And I find 
find that Summer Snow Cone mixes really well with Peach Goddess. It makes a really pretty color. Shine! Just a little bit. Um, Alright, so next I'm going to go in with lips. So... <sighs> this is where it's going to go south, probably. So remember this, because I like this. Um, he... Jake went in and chose the MAC Lip Liner in Burgundy and Jeffree Star Drug Lord. Yeah. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> um, definitely a challenge, but I have a little bit of an idea as to how I'm going to do it, and I'm not going to use much Drug Lord. Um, but he may claim that I'm cheating, so we'll find that out later. So, I'm just going to go in and line, line my lips. I've gone in, I've lined my lips, lined my lips with the MAC Burgundy shade. I've cleaned up the edge a little bit with just my foundation, just to try and clean it up and sharpen it up a little bit. Um, I've then, you also saw me go in just with a blender, um, just to um, soften, soften it and blend it out a little bit because my idea is that I'm not going to go in with a full white lip because, no. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to do a little bit in the middle and blend it out. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> Shit. Can you tell what my thoughts are? <laughs> I don't like this lip. <laughs> I love a good red or I love a good nude. Um... No, this, this lip is, has just pushed it over the edge. <laughs> okay. All right, so. <laughs> Let's see if we can save this. <laughs> mm. 
Nope. <coughs> I keep holding my breath, hoping it's going to get I don't like this <laughs> Nope. The eyes were fine. I like the eyes. If it was with a nude lip. Burgundy pink monstrosity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go finish laughing off camera. <laughs> and put the finishing touches on this. <laughs> and I'll be back shortly. <laughs> All right, this, <laughs> this is the finished look. Um, tell me what you think below. Um, if you take, seriously, if you take, take the eyes out of it, I, uh, sorry, take the lips out of it. I actually really like the eyes. I think they're quite, cover the lips. Um, they're quite pretty they're very bright they're different to what I would normally do they would look great with and not with an eyeliner just a nice thick black line um and some lashes um I figured with this with this I'm not going out today um so I wasn't gonna try and do a, a nice wing eyeliner or chuck a thick pair of lashes on because it's not gonna stay on all that long. Thanks, <laughs> Jake. Um, thanks, Jake. Um, thanks, Jake. <laughs> Uh, stay tuned next week, guys. My other flatmate, Chrissy, chooses her look for me to do. Yep. I feel like it's probably going to turn out much the same as this one. <laughs> Leave a comment below. What did you think? What were your thoughts? Oh, I just keep looking at that lip and it's just like, no, no. Um, if you, <laughs> leave a comment below on your thoughts, um, and don't forget to, blah, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one, guys.